hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for stopping by today's video hey to all my new subscribers i appreciate you guys so much for actually choosing to hit that subscribe button and stick around and watch more of my videos like you guys don't even understand how much i appreciate you all for that and i just wanted to say thank you so today's video is going to be my monthly favorites for the month of september i have quite a few things here a few things that i've been enjoying and i've actually had some of these things for a couple months now and i didn't include them in a favorites video i actually haven't done a favorites video i think for two months in a row just because i wanted to keep like thoroughly trying out these products before I actually decided like yeah I'm in love with these products I use them all the time and they are my favorite and then some of these are actually fairly new I actually got them this month but they're like at the top of the list cream of the crop when it comes to my makeup products so if you guys are interested in seeing what has been my favorites for the month of September as well as August and July then just keep so normally I go in the order of like makeup skincare and then miscellaneous but i actually have to start with skincare this month because i have been loving these products like that have been in my skincare routine they are bomb.com so this is the neutrogena ultra light cleansing oil and as you guys can see i am literally like almost out of this bottle i need to go and repurchase another one i've been using this for like the past two and a half months this thing is so freaking bomb at taking off all of your makeup like literally all of it i just take like five pumps of this in my hand and then i rub it all around my face for about a minute and then i add water to my hands and then i start to like smooth it into my skin even more and like deep down in my pores and this really gets every single bit of makeup like off your skin off your eyes it works so well it gets eyelash glue off your lashes like this stuff is super duper bomb you don't even have to go back in and rinse your face after you're done washing your face with this because you rinse it off with water and your skin is like squeaky clean and i love this stuff definitely would repurchase this and i definitely recommend it the next two things are from the same line. This is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost line. So this is the water gel skin moisturizer. And then this is the gel eye cream. So I've been using both of these in conjunction with each other. I love this stuff. Now, I was using jojoba oil on my skin every single night. But I've decided to cut back on using it every night and using it every other night. And when I don't use the jojoba oil, I'm using this. And I feel like the two together have really like calmed my skin down. And I don't get as oily as i used to get and this stuff is so good this is what it looks like it's so good for your skin if you have oily skin because this is a gel consistency so it really sinks into the skin and doesn't feel greasy or heavy at all it feels so nice um i use this all the time and i love it and then this is the eye cream so i've been noticing that on camera sometimes my under eye wrinkles like show up so much more than they would normally and I think it's because of all the baking that I've been doing and I haven't been using an eye cream at all so you know like it's really prominent in um, on camera and I hate the way it looks so I started using this eye cream because I feel like my under eye was really dry and my makeup was accentuating it so after using this I don't have any problems with my fine lines anymore showing up on camera and looking really really noticeable like more noticeable than they were so this has been doing a great job for my under eye area i recommend both of these products and i would definitely repurchase these so now moving on i have a bunch of complexion type products so i'm just going to start off with those now the first thing i have is a primer this is the covergirl true blend face primer for oily skin and i actually picked this up like two weeks ago and i've been using it so consistently since then i actually have it on today i love this primer it like didn't wow me at first because it's a lotion consistency it's very watery actually like if i was to hold the bottle upside down right now without the top one like it would fall out of the container because it's super duper watery and like i said it's a lotion consistency and i'm not used to mattifying primers being like that being very liquidy but this actually works really really good to take away the excess oil and i feel like this helps hold my makeup in place because after you finish rubbing it in it sort of has a tacky feel so i feel like it really like grabs onto your makeup when you put it on so this has definitely been bay and it's super duper cheap at the drugstore i think this is like maybe eight or nine dollars at the, um at walmart so i mean it's cheap and it works really well 
and I've actually been using that primer in conjunction with these two foundations so this is the covergirl clean matte bb cream you guys have seen me use this before in my videos I never did a review on this so if you guys would like to see me do like a review and a demo or a wear test with this then just let me know because this is actually a really really nice bb cream for oily skin this holds up on my skin like a foundation would it wears like long af and it's a really nice coverage and it feels good on the skin so i mean if you guys want me to do a review then i definitely would but just know that i really like this bb cream this is in the shade 560 deep and it works really well it's a nice match for my skin tone and then when i put it with this primer it's like bae also, this is the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation. I have been trying this out for the past couple of weeks. I bought it the same time that I bought this CoverGirl primer. Um, if you follow me on Snapchat, then you would have seen when I bought this. And I've been trying it out for the past two weeks. And I'm not going to talk too much about it because I am going to do a full review and demo for you guys. But just know that I have been loving this foundation. And I am in the shade 4.05 in case you were wondering. So also to go along with complexion, these ColourPop Sculpting Sticks, um, I never talked about these really on my channel, but these things work so well. So I have the shade Castle, which is this just light golden beige shade. This is what I use for my highlighting, and then I have Typo, and this is what I use, obviously, for my contouring, and that's how these look. I'll go ahead and actually give you guys a swatch of these so you can see exactly how they look on the skin so highlighting shade contouring shade these are so freaking good they blend out so easily and so nice on the skin it doesn't take much at all to blend these out even with a beauty blender a brush whatever it doesn't matter these work super well on the skin i love how creamy they are but they actually stay in place they're not moving all around they're a great formula and I actually really like the ease of having it in like a little stick that you twist up and twist down. You know, it's easy to travel with. These are two perfect shades for me for me to just easily highlight and contour. And some people usually don't like working with like cream products to highlight and contour. But I feel like these would make it so easy for you because they're cream products but they're super easy to blend yet they stay in place where you want them, where you actually put them. So I mean these have been bay. They're easy to use products and I definitely recommend them especially for the price. I believe each one of these is $5.00. You can't go wrong with that. Then I have my Sephora Micro Smooth Baked Powder Compact in the shade 60 Deep. I don't think I've mentioned this in a favorites video recently, but this is such a good face powder. I remember when I first got this, I was like sort of kind of comparing it to the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, which I haven't had in a really long time. But I remember I used to love that powder because it would just give me a really natural look to the skin, especially when I would put it over my foundation. It wasn't really like a finishing powder, but it worked like a finishing powder to really give your skin that natural pull together look. I feel like it just made all of your makeup products look amazing after you were done with your makeup. And that is exactly how I use this product. And it does the exact same thing and it looks the exact same way on my skin. Very natural. It does have a little tiny bit of a satin finish to it because it is a baked powder compact but it's nothing shiny and it doesn't make you look greasy or oily it just gives you a really natural skin like finish and i like to use this after i've cream contoured before i powder contour and put on my blush and everything and i feel like it just pulls all of my base makeup together and makes it look amazing i love this and i would definitely repurchase this this is so good. I love this. I have it on today. And the brush I love using it with is this Morphe M424 brush. This has quickly become like my favorite brush in my brush collection. And I have a ton of brushes. But this is my favorite by far. You guys can see it's dirty. Because every single time I use this powder, I use this brush for it. It is so big. And it is so soft. And it covers my entire face with just a couple of swipes. And it works so good with this powder. Because because it's so fluffy it deposits the color in a nice way on my skin to make me look really airbrushed and flawless so like I said I have this on today and I love the way it makes my skin look last for complexion I had to include my Anastasia Beverly Hills glow kit in sweets this is my first glow kit from Anastasia Beverly this is my first glow kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I didn't feel like I needed the glow kits because I have a ton of highlighters but these highlighters literally change the game. These highlighters are so pigmented 
and literally on another world of highlights like not many highlighters look like this on my skin in my collection there's only a few that are up there with this like my Ofra highlighter in bliss my becca topaz my laura gala gilded honey like there's only a few highlighters in my collection that actually give off that supernova outer space celestial type glow like this kit does and like i said these highlighters are on another level so i've been absolutely loving them i have taffy on my cheeks today underneath my I mean on top of my benefit what's up highlighter but you don't even need to layer these highlights because they just do the job on their own so that is what they look like and i'll show you what they look like on my skin super pigmented ridiculous and when you blend them out onto your skin it's just like otherworldly seriously i've just been loving this glow kit i only have one eye type product and of course, it is the palette that everybody and their mom has been talking about for like the past, I feel like three, four months, maybe even longer than that because I was actually late on the bandwagon getting this palette, but I'm so happy that I have it now. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. You guys already know what this looked like, but I'm just going to show you what mine looks like. So love this palette i have it on my eyes today and i've been wearing it pretty consistently like all the time again if you guys have me on snapchat you will see how often i use my makeup this is just a super gorgeous palette it looks good on everyone if you are one of those types of females who feels like pinks and reds don't look good on your eyes because it makes you look sick you need to go and check out all of the bomb makeup tutorials that are done using the pinks and reds in this palette they go well with each other all of these colors play up on the eyes well i feel like every skin tone every single skin tone needs this palette in their collection and it's gonna look good on you and you're gonna create some bomb makeup looks so it's a permanent palette you can go pick it up at any time go spend the 42 dollars on this palette just go ahead and get it the last makeup type products i have to talk about are the kylie lip kits that i picked up i did a swatch video on these the new shades that she released i did do a swatch video on all of them and the lip pencils so you guys can go and check that out if you want to see how these colors look on me i haven't worn all of them in any like tutorials or any videos but i am obsessed with these like i'm so obsessed with these that i will literally just put this on when i'm wearing like no makeup or just around the house like bullcrapping i'll put these on and just wear them for like five minutes and then take them off just because i want to see how they look on me because they are so bomb they're so pretty everybody loved the way um love bite looked on me when i did the swatch video so i'm probably going to be wearing this a little bit more often because everybody likes this color but seriously the formula on these is great they wear well the lip pencils are super duper smooth i feel like they were worth the money that i spent on them i know there's like a lot of hoopla about how these are just color pops formula repackaged and yada 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 and to me it makes no difference i already spent my money on them i'm gonna enjoy them and i'm gonna wear them and i do really like the colors i do really like the formula so been loving these my last and final favorites product is actually something random and something that i don't think i've ever mentioned on my channel before but it is a bath and body works candle again if you don't follow me on snapchat then you need to i um snapped this candle and i was like this has become my favorite candle of life this is pumpkin banana muffin and i literally burn this candle every single day and i try to only burn it for like an hour or two so that i can make it last because i only bought one of these i actually bought a few candles during their sale where they had them i think for half off they were like 12.50 i believe so i bought a couple of them but i didn't buy repeats of the ones that i already had and i wish this was my first time trying this one i wish i had bought backups of this one i refuse to buy bath and body works candles at full price just so you guys know but um i need to go and buy a backup of this because it smells so good the key notes in this or the fragrance notes is caramelized banana pumpkin puree walnut and cinnamon sugar and i swear like whoever came up with that combo is a genius because this this smells so good forget about pumpkin pecan waffles 
pumpkin cheesecake, whatever the other candle is that everybody's always talking about, you need to go get pumpkin banana muffins, seriously. So that was all of my favorites that I had to talk to you guys about. I kept it short and simple because I know that my favorites videos are usually too damn long for anybody to sit here and watch so i hope you guys enjoyed seeing everything that i have been loving for the month of september go ahead and leave me a comment down below letting me know what you've been enjoying or if you've done your favorites video already and i will go and check that out again let me know if you guys want a review of the covergirl clean matte bb cream also hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on my review of the smashbox studio skin foundation and yeah just hit that subscribe button actually because i'm going to be doing a lot more videos and you need to watch them yeah so give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and i will see you all in my next one thank you so much for watching guys bye